There's been a lot of buzz about my eyebrow transplantation procedures recently. Lots of questions about things like how does it work? Um, where do we take the hair from? Uh, is it painful? How long does it last? So I kind of wanted to go through that with you guys today um, to kind of help answer some of your questions uh, to get a better understanding of how this procedure works. So eyebrow transplantation is a very popular procedure for me. I really enjoy doing the procedure. Um, and what it does is it gives patients normal natural hair that looks like a natural eyebrow. Um, so one of the first questions is, well, how does that work? And uh, the process is uh, where I take hair from the back of the head. Um, it's typically from the back of the head. I choose a spot where it matches closest to your eyebrows. And there's usually a good spot somewhere in the back of the scalp, depending on uh, each patient, you know, is different, but maybe a little lower, closer to the nape of the neck or a little higher. So I always will individualize the procedure depending on the patient. So hair is taken from the back of the scalp. Uh, there are a couple methods that I talk about with my patients um, on how we can do that. Um, patients ask, does that hurt? And the answer is, honestly, as many procedures as I've done, patients say most of the time it might be a little bit discomfort for a day or two, um, but nothing excruciating, no significant pain. And I do provide medications to help with pain as well. Um, so uh, the pain part is actually very minimal to none. Um, the way the transplant works is I harvest hair from the back of the head. I personally make all the incisions in the eyebrow within a shape that you and I will discuss um, or the, uh, the patient and I will discuss um, and come to a, a, a good uh, understanding of what best fits their facial structure. And then one by one, after I've made all the incisions, we transplant the hairs into the eyebrows. Uh, patients ask, well, how long does that last? The answer is it's, it's permanent. It's, it's your own hair. Um, the hair gets transplanted into the brows. It lasts there for about two weeks and the hair itself actually falls. But the root of the hair called the follicle is what is the most important part and that stays behind. That root, though, all the roots that we transplant will actually grow a new hair in about three to four months. And once that starts to grow, it's permanent. It doesn't fall out. You don't have to do it again. Um, and to me, it's a much better option than microblading. And patients have that question too. Well, what about microblading? Why wouldn't I just do microblading? And my answer to that is microblading is not hair. It's not three dimensional. It doesn't give you the volume that brows do. And microblading is just a little tiny cut in the skin with some pigment placed in it. So it always fades. It doesn't last. You, you typically will have to do multiple you know, sessions to get, you know, continue to keep your results. And over time, it's not permanent versus the hair transplantation to the brows is permanent. The one, one thing about eyebrow transplantation, because we take it from the back of the head, is that it does grow like it's hair on the back of your head. And patients will, trans, you know, will, will trim their hair once a week, maybe once every two weeks, and, and it's pretty easy. Um, the, the main thing is it's your own natural hair, so you can go to the gym, you don't have to worry about sweating and, and the pencil that you've drawn in, you know, washing away. You can shower, you get out, you have your natural brows. Um, so it's really a great procedure and all of my patients are super you know, excited when their hair starts to grow back in and they have their nice, full, natural looking brows.